As a facilitator, after you plan the garden, you plant the garden, and then you're caring for the garden to make sure the garden is successful, the last thing is harvest. And that's the most, it's a celebration. You're celebrating the fruits of labor, you're celebrating the harvest, you're excited, but also it's a time of reflection. You can think back on what went wrong in the planning process, what went wrong in the planting process, and what went wrong in your approach of caring. And you can connect the growth of the garden with the growth of the community. Not saying that they're gonna grow simultaneously together and that you have a perfect garden the first time in a perfect community. Actually what might happen is that if you're working with a community that's not used to gardening, the garden might not be as successful, but you'll be able to see how close the community is, how the fabric of the community has changed. And that's an important part of harvest because now we can look back and think back, oh, so we grew this vegetable, we grew this, and it didn't grow well here in our community or it didn't grow well in this soil. So let's rethink about something different to grow. It's also a good time where a facilitator could bring in different types of vegetables. So again, you don't want to go in day one with your own mindset of what vegetables need to be grown in the community. You really want to preserve communities and what they want to grow. But the second time around, in reflection, you can bring up ideas in conversation about new fruits or vegetables for a community to try. They might want to or might not want to. Also, the community knows you more now. You came in day one as a stranger. Some might even call you an imposter. But then, as you care for the garden, as they see how serious you are about the garden in harvest, because you've stuck out a whole season with them and they see that you're committed to the work, then you can start having additional conversations about the importance of types of foods and things like that.